enjoy the sensation of water and you know we had a very uh, beautifully prepared room with very dim lights just a few candles and everything I felt um, I felt like I was on a scene uh, on a sort of a stage because here I was in the middle of the pool and everybody was around and sort of leading in and trying to touch me and sort of comfort and and massage things you know my my back or whatnot and but I just felt like I was I felt observed in a very strange way and so at one point I just said I need to go to the bathroom I need to go to the toilet and I got out of the pool and uh, just before I got out of the pool the midwife had asked me if I had any sensations or any urge to start pushing and there was a little bit of that but I just I said I need to get out I need to go to the bathroom so I I did and I ended up going into all the lights were off in the house so I just ended up going into the dark bathroom and instead of coming back to see everyone where everyone was waiting for me I didn't come back I just ended up getting into the hot shower uh, very dark obviously all the blinds closed and uh, got into the shower cabin got the heat of the water going which was quite helpful during the during these uh, moments and and things started getting really really quite intense I love how you claimed your privacy, right? We talk a lot about that in the class, safety, privacy, and unobserved. One of the moments as well, which was interesting, was that up until that point, the water hadn't broken. By myself in the shower, in this hot, uh, dark shower, and I reached down and it just felt like it was the right thing to do. And I just pressed and the water gushed out. And it felt like the, the head dropped and everything sort of like this was now we're now we're ready because I felt like the, the water was somehow cushioning the baby and it was still sort of taking time to get to that point. A surprise, I think is just the best word to describe it, that it, it's possible to sense so much power, so much intensity in the body and the body doing itself. I, I never felt at any point like I had to actually push anything or to, it, it was like the body was sort of squeezing itself to, to make all the work happen. You know, more than the actual physical sensations. For me, I think what, what was the, the most intense part was the feeling as if, as if it was something else, like it was more than me, that it was not me doing this, that it was something happening through me, that my voice, my body was, was in a sense being used for this to happen, that even the sound that was coming out of my mouth was not me making the sound, it was like, I keep saying, like, I just had this image all of a sudden during birth of this sort of primal, dirty, ancient wolf coming from underground and howling through me and making all these growling noises. And, and it felt really good in some ways to sort of be able to open my mouth like this and to, to let all of this intensity come out. Old traditions, you know, they talk about a woman kind of going to the, to the, world of the souls to fetch the soul of the baby you know and I just I just remember feeling this moment of me sort of disappearing or me going to the like you know now I know beyond a doubt that the place where the souls begin and end this journey is the same place just sort of disappearing and I think this was the moment that sort of in some ways was the scariest but also the most amazing of the whole journey to be able to experience this disappearing of me for a second and and just know that something else is coming and moving over to give space to 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 this force and this new life entering everything felt so engorged and so you know you talk about birth being sexual and there was a very strange sensation of just everything being so slippery and so big and so 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 everything being like, yeah, like during a really, really powerful orgasm or sort of that, uh, that uh, sort of experience. And, and I kept uh, feeling to see how things were. And then at one point, um, at one point, I just knew that things were very close, that the, you know, you could feel the, the baby's hair and the baby's head and everything. And then all of a sudden, this huge release of the baby, the baby's head popping out. And in the next, uh, in the next wave, in the next uh, sort of push, the whole slithery, beautifully smelling baby came out. The moment of holding her in my arms, I'm just the ex is the most ecstatic moment I've ever experienced in my life. I think all the 
orgasms, no matter how amazing they are combined of my life, don't reach that intensity. So beautiful. I can't thank you enough. I mean, as I'm listening, my body is just feeling, you know, those moments of, as you said so well, that intensity, that power, and that joy and ecstasy, right? Of that release from your body into your arms. We'll be in touch again. Thank you. Good night.